Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 13th of September comes to you from London and we look first of all at the dollar, uh, this is the dollar index, uh, my weekly, my daily and my 60 minute chart, a long term, medium term and short term view of the market. So short term, we're coming back pushing to new highs, uh, so dollar strength is very much the theme this week. We've still got work to do on the long term chart but for the moment uh, we do have upside targets a few percent higher on the dollar and that's what we're looking to at the moment. That means that the euro is looking weaker against that stronger dollar uh, and we are back above the 110 level on, uh, against the yen which is, tends to be a lead indicator but we have been at this 110 level now for a good few months. Sterling sitting at 138 not much change here either uh, so we are seesawing around the dollar but again this whole uh, level has been um, pretty much the theme of 2021. Sterling against the euro is looking stronger this morning, 117.15. Uh, we still have work to do to get to break to a new high, but generally we are seeing sterling just edging up against the euro, and it looks like another strong week for sterling there. Bitcoin has fallen back to $44,000. That's short term bearish now. We've got downside target to $42,000 and one that's activated back to 32. So we are, we still have this long term upside target, but we are pulling back, starting to look a little bit like a second uh, lower high, which uh, would be worrying. Of course, we will get a downside target here, but we've already got one 25% lower. So we need to be just aware of that on Bitcoin. Uh, the S&P 500 index deteriorating uh, over the, on Friday down two thirds of a percent, uh, sorry, three quarters of a percent. So just watching for this trend break, it'll be pretty clear when it happens. But for the moment, we are holding the medium term trend, of course. Uh, the downside target is not that worrying on the 60 minute chart. The Nasdaq also just starting to fall below the cloud. Not as clear as the S&P 500 index, but the market's just off a bit. The future's looking stronger this morning, though. The S&P future up uh, half percent and the Nasdaq E-mini up 0.4 percent. And the VIX volatility sitting at 19.40. Did jump to 21 on Friday uh, with that weaker market, but has fallen back this morning. But short term, the fear is there. Looking at the FTSE future up half percent this morning, the DAX in Germany up three quarters percent, and the CAC Quarant up half percent. So we are seeing, although we're short term bearish, we are holding uh, the longer term trends. J Japan has had a really good run lately, up another 0.3 percent. That breakout really clear. They're making um, multi decade hours there in Japan. Uh, looking at the Chinese market up 0.3 percent, so it's reversed all of that run we saw in July breaking higher now nudging the previous resistance point back in February uh, with good upside targets looks like we'll easily break that and go further uh, and if we look at uh, the Indian market down very slightly but again the long-term trend is still very much in play the Aussie market up quarter percent. We'll look at the energy mix in a minute, but looking at uh, soft commodities, sugar down 1% this morning, so looking weaker there. Wheat, uh, no change there this morning, but uh, still long term bullish. Corn up slightly. Gold sitting at 1790, just struggling to break this 1800 level. Silver lower at 2368 back below the 24 level the main thing is we hold this 2250 on silver uh looking at us 10-year yields we're sitting at 1.33 percent still uh, short term bearish but looking like we will break this cloud finding support on the longer term and we've activated these upside targets to the 170s uh, looking at energy now we've got brent crude looking stronger this morning uh, so that's quite key uh, if we look at uh, the crude oil chart this is my daily and my 60 minute chart uh, and we're seeing here we've got good upside targets so looks like a better week for crude oil still need to break that uh, that previous high level here um, for the lower high lower low uh, scenario to be broken uh, nat gas in the US looking strong we've got a good upside target here to 522 we will have a new downside target but for the moment uh, we are above the cloud on the 60 minute chart coal no stopping coal uh, looking very strong indeed um, breaking all the targets uh, so you have to look to um, bigger percentages there for the longer term uh, and keep an eye on your OTC data of course emissions up 1.7 percent this morning still need to break to new high above 63 but that looks like will happen uh, we do have lots of upside targets here on the daily chart looking at MBP we're up 4% there this morning TTF as well no signs of slowdown here good upside targets still to play for 
German power just nudging the 100 euro mark. Uh, if we look at the chart on German power, it looks like it can't go any higher. But if you just press your T key, you'll see there you get, uh, and you can do that on any chart, of course, and updater. Uh, you see here we've got a target to 128 euros. That's hard to believe at the moment, but that's what the targets are saying. Uh, Nordic power looking strong again this morning as well, up 4.5% on the cow and up 6% on the quarterly. Again, targets to play for. Keep an eye on those one-minute charts. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.